Hey guys, Coach Travis here to talk about some of the underlying physiology that you're going to experience during the summer race series, race number one on Saturday, the 20 minute time trial. The type of intensity that you're going to be able to sustain for 20 minutes if you're going as hard as you can is going to be above our anaerobic threshold. And I'm sure you've probably heard that term before, but what does that actually mean? What that means is that the level of intensity or the level of exertion that we're putting out is an unsustainable intensity. Um, so anything above our anaerobic threshold, we're producing waste products faster than we can get rid of them. So they start to build up. If you kind of imagine, if you have a big bucket and you're pouring water in and there's a hole at the bottom of the bucket. Uh, if you're pouring water in very slowly and water is escaping, uh, all those waste products, they're building up, getting produced by the muscles that are working hard, but you're getting rid of them and moving them out of the body. Uh, as soon as we start to dump that water faster and faster, so we're working harder and harder, that bucket's going to start to fill up. When that bucket fills up and overflows, we're going to have to stop because our bodies are just going to shut down on us. So we're really riding that line where we're trying not to dump that bucket too fast. We're trying not to work too hard that we can't last for 20 minutes. And so pacing is key in an all-out effort like this. If you go too hard, you're going to have to stop or slow down before the 20 minutes is up. But if you don't go hard enough, you're going to finish the race and you're still going to have some gas left in the tank. Uh, so it's really key to pace yourself properly for an effort like this. If you have experience with heart rate training or zone training, uh, this generally in most systems, uh, the intensity you're going to be working at is going to be what would be called zone 5. Uh, so that's that high top end performance. And with that type of an effort, uh, the maximum you're generally able to sustain that effort for is about 20 minutes. So we've designed this race to test the limits of your top end endurance. Depending on what type of race you're training for, you might touch on these intensities frequently or almost never at all. But it is important for almost everybody uh, at some point in their season to do a little bit of zone 5 training. Uh, and the reason for that is kind of twofold. So the first piece is running form and running economy. So the faster that we run, the more efficient mechanics that our body likes to use. Uh, even if we're training for long distances, uh, marathon and beyond, uh, it's still important for us to be efficient runners. So when we train fast, those mechanics that we use, they trickle down to our slower runs as well, and they make us a more efficient runner. The other reason that zone five training is really important is a physiological effect. And that has to do with oxygen delivery. Really, our goal as runners is to, in the most efficient manner possible, take oxygen from the air, breathe it in, get it from our lungs to our muscles that are working hard to keep us moving fast and efficiently. Uh, two of the really big components of that are our heart and our lungs, and that's the transfer from the oxygen from the air into our bloodstream, and then from the bloodstream through the heart to the muscles. So when we're working at these really high intensities, you're basically doing maximal training for your heart and your lungs. The more of that type of training you do, the more efficient your body gets at taking air from the atmosphere and getting it into the body and getting it out to the muscles. So zone five training, even if you are training for long stuff, uh, you do still need to touch on those intensities. If you're training for shorter 5K, 10K stuff, uh, you've probably touched on these intensities regularly in all of your different training blocks building for different races. But it is important for everybody at some point in their season to mix in a little bit of this type of training. Finally, the thing that I'm the most excited about for the first race of the Summer Race Series is the fact that with the time trial format, uh, everybody's going as hard as they can for 20 minutes. And for everybody, that's going to be a zone 5 intensity if you're working as hard as you can. So the cool thing with this race format is that everybody, no matter who you are, is working just as hard for just as long. Obviously, some of us are going to be faster or slower than others, we're going to have one male and one female who go farther than everybody else. Those will be our winners. But everybody who's racing is going just as hard for just as long. So you guys are all in it together. Have fun and we'll see you on Saturday.